Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akosia Behini. In today's video, I'm gonna be getting ready with you guys, doing my everyday makeup routine, basically sharing my favorite product to achieve a flawless everyday makeup routine for oily show combination skin. So please keep on watching, don't go nowhere. And yeah, let's just get into the video. First of all, I refreshed these braids and I'm just in love. I didn't know that you could refresh old braids, old box braids, and I looked it up on YouTube. God, thank God for internet. That's literally everything on the internet. I just looked it up on YouTube. It was there. I tried it, and it worked like a charm. Like, my braids literally look fresh. Oh, my God. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin um, for primer, everyday primer that I like to use because I'm oily or combination skin. I love that my makeup is matte because that's the only way my makeup can last the entire day. So for primer, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. But my skin is already moisturized as you guys can see so I don't have to like my skin is actually very moisturized at this point. Let's take a minute and just go into the fact that america has a new president isn't it great what a day <laughs> what a day to be alive in america now if you watched my previous video where i tried the whole underpainting method i told you guys that i was going to be incorporating a lot of that in my routine and i didn't even lie when i said that um, i'm going to go ahead and do my concealer first i find it that i actually kind of like that whole vibe and for especially for everyday makeup when i want to make sure that oh for concealer <laughs> i'm sorry for concealer i'm using the l'oreal infallible um concealer more than concealer this is in the shade 415 i'm gonna try and leave all the products in the description box below also my amazon storefronts will be down below so just in case pandemic panoramic you can buy th stuff like you can walk into stores and buy stuff you can just shop on amazon down below so um like i was saying before because it's an everyday makeup routine and you like i want to make sure that i don't look over the top you know i just want to make sure that everything looks like flawlessly done and you know sometimes it's not every day that you get it like that but i try so i've just been doing this for a little bit and I kind of like it so I start with my under eye because this concealer is heavy and all, almost all the products that I'm using is matte are matte so just so you know I'm gonna go ahead and use my blender from Sonia Kashuk also drugstore for the most part all the products that I'm using is drugstore so it's safe to say that my drugstore everyday makeup routine yep let's say that and also oh I've been watching <laughs> blink empire i don't know if it's the blink empire or blink empire on netflix and i actually really like it don't forget to go into the corner of your nose that stuff is so creepy <laughs> like do the makeup in a way that it goes to all the crevices of your face you know what i mean so oh i love i just have been loving this whole routine the underpainting method you guys thought that it was over the top a few of you guys thought that it was over the top but it's really cool actually contour i'm gonna use juvia's place this is the juvia's place concealer in the shade one i also find that this process is like a lot more like long lasting for oily skin or combination skin people or skin types you know no matter how dark this is the foundation is still gonna cover up and i'll show you guys how i do the foundation oh my god i've been depriving you guys i should have zoomed in all this while i'm so sorry <laughs> i am so sorry i should have zoomed in I'm sorry i gotta i had to fix that <laughs> but i should have zoomed in this entire time but this is the skin work i mean this is my concealer work and let me just this is the reason why i wanted to share this routine with you guys so bad yes you guys saw it in the underpainting method but now i feel like i know how to work my way around it even better and i know how to place the foundation if you watched me in the underpainting method you realize that I was asking you guys my foundation, how should I place it? 
I was just really confused because it was my first time ever like really trying the extreme underpainting but now I figured it out I know how to just make it work and so my concealer work is a lot lot better now <laughs> I mean like not like it was bad but it makes a lot more sense now I just know how to work my way around it now I know how to do my nose contour and everything so I love it I'm gonna go in with foundation and foundation I'm going to use um, L'Oreal as well the infallible pro matte foundation like I said everything that I'm using is matte because of my skin type so this is in the shade 540 I gotta drink some water Ooh. I'm going in with just one pump of foundation I mean that's what I'm gonna start with and if it doesn't work I mean if it's not enough coverage then I'll add another pump of foundation but usually with this whole routine you don't need so much um, foundation and I'm using a foundation buffing brush so this is this is from elf by the way the I love elf brushes let me also just say that I love elf brushes elf real techniques Sonia Cashfolk these are drugstore brushes that I love like they actually do work so I'm just gonna tap um, into the foundation and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start off or concentrate in the center part where they meet where my concealer and my contour where they meet so that's what I'm gonna basically do so that's like these are the areas that I'm going to be focusing on and because this foundation is full coverage and matte I'm going to be like really careful with how I place it so I also usually start from like the bottom part of my face I'm comfortable doing my foundation like that however you're comfortable doing your foundation that's definitely fine but I'm not going to go under my eye area so much even though I'm going to make sure that it is well blended but I'm also going to cover my contour as much as possible because I don't like my contour to look extremely dark and then I also like to gently or lightly go over my neck because um, I've said it before, my neck is a lot, lot darker than my entire body, my face and my body itself. So I like to usually go over my neck with a little bit of foundation and a little bit of powder just so that everything looks okay. So see, you guys see that I still have my concealer job going on but my skin's finish is still smooth and nice this foundation is my absolute current fave you know like every season you have a fave but this is my current fave i love this foundation and what it does it stays on way longer the concealer as well it's they're just a beautiful finish it gives you like such a nice beautiful finish and your skin doesn't entirely look dry you know so with every product that I'm using, if, you, if you're a combination and you like mattes like dry dry, I don't like that. I like to have like an in-between. I like to see that I still have like a nice skin finish, you know, but not looking extremely, I don't, I don't like the whole extremely powdery finish. But maybe when after I do my powder, let me just shut up. <laughs> after I do my powder, we can tell. We can tell what this finish will look like. But yeah, this is basically skin finish. So to set my concealed areas, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Absolute Favorite Powder for every time, actually. Not every day, like every time in my life. I like this powder. But I'm going to use a brush. I'm just using another brush from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. I'm ashamed. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. blush brush. But I like it for this purpose just because it's like it helps me to layer my powder really easily see and just like that my under eye is nicely set okay so i did i mean i did my brows off camera i have a brow tutorial on my channel updated brow tutorial so please also check that out for my eye area i am gonna go ahead and use the same concealer that i used for my for my face because it's every day i don't do so much with my eye area in all honesty so i'm going to use a concealer to just prep that area um this is a very fast process in all honesty this is not a process that takes more than more than 10 to 15 minutes 
if I'm being honest. <laughs> I mean, it literally 20 minutes. I can do it in my bathroom and be done. But you know, with the video and because it's a tutorial and everything, I just really want to break it down for you guys so that it's it's a lot more friendly. Set my eye area. Now I'm going to go ahead and take Everyday's Essentials palette from Violet Voss. I'm only going to take one shade from this palette, this dark brown shade right here. So what I'm going to do with this shade is just use it in my crease. Just a little bit. Matter of fact, <laughs> sometimes I just use it all over my eye for like a dark brown smoky eye look. But I usually start off with my crease like so. Sometimes I just use it in my crease and then leave this area as is. It also gives it a very nice, matter of fact, I just might do that. Like very simple, you know. Um, I use it in my crease because it gives me some kind of structure. It gives the eye eye bone or the brow, the brow bone, it gives it some nice structure. You don't have to do too much kind of thing. Just a little bit like this and then you're done. And that's it. <laughs> that's basically all that I do for daytime. I honestly don't do much. I don't do eyeshadow sometimes. I do eyeshadow sometimes I mean for daytime if I would ever do eyeshadow it's always this or just a brown all over my eyelid I find it a lot more easier doing monochrome for daytime because then you don't have to do too much with your face and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara from wet and wild this is the wet <laughs> really this is the wet and wild mega length mascara I love this stuff using the Maybelline pressed powder in the shade 370 I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and also with my elf mineral powder brush so this takes away all the shine and everything and then now I'm gonna go ahead and use my blush this is the Nika K duo blush same blush that I've been talking about every day and then for brush I'm using Sonia Kashuk blush brush small point blush brush and then i'm gonna take some of the orange like that take away the excess it's daytime but i still like my blush i still like my blush to show so smile <laughs> it's so awkward let's smile and then swipe swipe i'm gonna go up just to warm up my contour areas and then for highlighter i this is not, I don't know, but I think this is actually not a highlighter. This is the Milani Berry Amore. It's a blush, but it has a highlighter infused in it. So um, I like it for highlighter purposes because it gives you a very subtle glow, which is not something that is like going to have a lot of people staring at you for the wrong reasons. That's what we don't want. Okay, so you see? You see me. <laughs> it gives you like a very pretty warm nice it's like you're glowing but it's like oh stop it <laughs> it's like oh my god i like it i like it and oh the brush that i'm using is from evita joseph i will link um their website in the description box below it's a black brand Ghanaian brand so please support 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 but this is the glow that you get and for daytime this is an absolutely perfect glow like I don't know what you're talking about I do not know what you're talking about and you can actually dip your brush and dip your brush and you still won't get so much so much product out of it you know because of the blush that it has infused in it my forehead as it is <laughs> is already five head let me see four five I have a five head so that's been settled, <laughs> but yeah. Ooh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Maybelline Lasting Fix, absolute fave. Oh, I had a hard time doing my lashes. Let me just say that they've been misbehaving, but hopefully you guys can't see it because I was gonna actually recommend the lashes to you. 
but for my lips during the daytime i am such a gloss kind of person anything that is gloss nude you know i'll do it you know because i lick my lips a lot <laughs> like i'm constantly you know or maybe eating so i'm just gonna do a brown liner and a regular lip gloss depending on where i'm gonna go during the day and how long i want my lips to last and like all of that stuff i will decide if i want to use a matte lip or not and then i shade the colors of my lip it just looks a lot more better when i do that and then i'm going to use gloss this is from wet and wild i think this stuff has been discontinued that's why i don't like to talk about it so much so yeah guys that's it for my everyday makeup routine comment down below is this something that you do would you try this method is this something that you'd want to try i mean this is an updated everyday makeup routine so it's definitely something that is for the books <laughs> these are like products that are going to last me i know that these i can have this on for like a good day you know the farthest that i'll do is dab or maybe use some powder around my nose area because I'm pretty pretty like oily you know but aside that this look is literally it for me for daytime very fast and convenient running <laughs> I have business to do like I have things to do I can attend a meeting with this like a daytime meeting with this you know I can go for lunch with this it's basically something that I can use to do anything and then in the evening I can literally take off my lips add on, add on some red lipstick and then I'm good to go so that's 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 what it is <laughs> comment down below if you like this video also give me a huge thumbs up if you like it give me a huge thumbs up and comment down below also if you like it let me know what you think about the whole steps that i showed you guys today or shared with you guys today um follow me on all my social media platforms at akosia behene across all social media platforms i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.